to the people YouTube, it's Alcon the 97. There's something in my eye, my eyes actually hurting Alka. Oh, and welcome to my crib. It's really wet outside. Alright, so when you first see my door, you see the sign right here, warning zombies don't keep out. And I kinda have that because um San Francisco, we, we have we have a problem with zombies. When you first walk into my door, you see this whole pile of Built up mail and random crap. Then the next thing you see is these stairs, and now we will proceed up the stairs. And then when we make it up the stairs, we see, uh, we see that oven first of all. <laughs> and then we see, oh look, it's my place. Look at it, all cool. So if we go in the kitchen, we see the oven, the microwave, another oven, you know, dishes and dish racks and whatnot. A banana. So yeah, it's a pretty standard kitchen. Um, it's kind of small, but you know, there's only two people living here, and I like to cook, so you know, it's pretty perfect. Then we exit the kitchen and we say bye bye kitchen, and then we see the little dining table right here. So it's a really pretty decent dining table. You know, I don't really eat here that often. I usually eat in my room, but yeah, I got the dining table, and then like out here, it's been pretty bad today. Like the past couple days, it's been pretty windy and pretty rainy, but yeah, it's it's basically just the same thing. Then we turn this way and we see the living room. So we got the cool little couch right there. We got a cool chair with my backpack on it. We got a little printer right here. We got the printer, Canon. What's up, Canon? Then we got the 40 inch plasma screen curved TV. Just kidding, it's not curved. But it is 40 inch TV, which is pretty decent. My roommate got this one. And then we got the Xbox Elite controller right there. Then we got all the goodies. We got the Xbox and the Xbox games and all the Elite crap and whatnot. This little table thing where we have the Christmas tree that was in my BB-8 video. A little lamp and then my favorite thing here, my little Star Wars lava lamp. And it is, if you guys can tell, it's Darth Vader's lightsaber. And now it's actually, I just turned it on maybe like 30 minutes ago and actually it's doing its stuff now. Awesome. So yeah, that's the basic tour of my living room and kitchen. There's not a whole lot going on in this area. Honestly, the only real decorations we have are those two things right there. But a lot of the decorations go in my actual room, so we'll check that out in a second. We gotta go through this hallway real quick where there's a couple doors, you'll see. This one is a basic closet where I keep, you know, a bunch of my random stuff here. You've got, you know, basic clothes, shoes, bathroom essentials, towels, camera equipment, and my big-ass Nerf gun. And this Nerf gun from last year, if you guys remember that. Alright, and then after the closet, we can close the door and then we can just go in here. This is the- oop, I opened the wrong way. This is the bathroom we have. Basic shower, and then you can hear the storm going on over there. Little sink, little toilet. The plunger, and then oh, that's me. Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? You like my little camera setup right here? I've never actually done this. I've never like put the camera up to the mirror and then shown you guys what I'm using to record. And it's really cool. Like, look at me. Look at me go. Huh? The little camera light rig and stuff like that. All right, we're moving on. We make a right into my room. So that's my roommate's side. Basic, you know, just that's all the stuff he has. And then right here, we move some more windows of <laughs> the outside storm. So let's just start off with this corner of the room right here. Just a little desk that I had, but I brought in my own desk, so I didn't need this one anymore, so I kind of just put it over here for a little nightstand. On top of it is some poster, green screen posters that I'm kind of working on a new little project with, so yeah, let's just leave that alone. And then if we look over to the bed, it's very familiar from last year's bed. Basic, you know, Godzilla blanket and then Godzilla random blankets and pillows. But then we look up and we see all the cool posters I have. So this one is the Sandlot poster. Then we got Godzilla King of the Monsters, that poster right here. Then we got Star Wars The Force Awakens and we see myself right there again. Star Wars The Force Awakens. And then we got my Halo 5 poster, the Rogue One poster, another Star Wars Force Awakens poster. Well technically it's not really a poster, it's more, it's actually wood. It's a wood picture I guess. And then back to familiar territory we got my little Godzilla paintings right here. And then we got the desk. So it's basically the same layout from last year's desk but with a couple you know different things obviously. First of all I brought my actual desk from home which has like all these drawers. I like having these drawers to store like paper and wires like I thought like I got wires and random crap in there. And then we got the Xbox right here, mouse pad, but this time I put my lamp on the Xbox just to kind of create more room. My microphone rig still going strong just you know doing its thing. And then the laptop, but now, the new addition to this is, if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can really see, but this is a curved monitor. Ooh, fancy, right? So this is basically the thing that I got for Christmas. Let me turn it on real quick. I basically use it as an extra screen for my laptop, but then I mostly use it for my video game purposes. Now, this is something really new that I think you guys will really enjoy. This is my new display from my collection. So a couple weeks back, I got these new shelves. They're actually two, they're stacked on top of each other. And they're really awesome, I really like them. And it was kind of a pain to put them together. 
I don't really know what this stretch is. I got another one to build. <clears throat> okay. There, there we go. But nonetheless, I did it and it looked awesome. So here we got Godzilla holding the director's thing right there. Then we got Knife Head, Gypsy Danger. We got the awesome Godzilla in the background right there. And we got a bunch of Jaegers there, the Muto, Scunner, Scummer, Scunner. Yes, Scunner. And then we got Kiri right there. Moving down, we see we got BB-8 right there. We got the Rogue One Cup that I got from uh, the movie theaters, which I, I, I kind of stole. Shh, don't tell anyone. I got a cool little TIE fighter that my brother got me. Then I also, oh my god, what happened? I didn't even realize that that was upside down. Well, we got the Poe Dameron's X-Wing right here. And we got Halo 2 for Windows. And then we got the Master Chief helmet that I got from last year. And then moving down, we got my Godzilla Pop figure. I got that for my birthday a while ago, and it's really awesome. And then right here, I got my graduation cap. Not, I don't think I've showed you guys this too much, but basically, it's San Francisco State of Terror, because that's the college I go to. And it's basically San Francisco State, and then, you know, because in the movie he attacks the so State of Terror. It's really funny, I know, right? And then over here, we got another Godzilla Pop figure. This is the same one as that, except this one goes in the dark. Moving down, we got some more Pop figures right here. We got Heisenberg and Kylo Ren. And then right here, we got Godzilla 2014, looking cool as always. And then we got Godzilla 1954 right here. Then we got more Pops. Right here, we got the Rogue One Darth Vader Pop. And it's the Rogue One. Yeah, it's Rogue One, okay. And then we got that Imperial Death Trooper. Moving down again, we got the Godzilla from... Hold on, we got Godzilla 1994. Yes, Godzilla... I haven't actually messed with my figures in a while. I do apologize for forgetting the names. But Godzilla 1994 and then the... Basically the gaming Godzilla, which came in that container. Speaking of this container, we move on. We got the box for that neck Godzilla figure right there. And this little random figure that I got of Godzilla and Angus. I believe that's from the second movie. And then this is really cool. I believe a lot of you guys already know what this is, but you click it. Or I guess you're supposed to put a coin right there. And then it goes up and then he takes it and then he goes back in the water. Really cool, right? We got Godzilla 2001 and Godzilla 1985. Four. Yes. The Godzilla from Godzilla 1985, 84. Wow, I'm really not in my Godzilla game right now. We just got a couple tanks right there and some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Then we got Exploding Kittens, which is a really fun card game. If you guys have never played this before, go find one, learn how to play, and then play it. Play with your friends, it's a really good game. And then moving on, we got another cool game right here. It's called Tapple, a really good party game to have. And then on the bottom, there's really nothing on the bottom shelves because I haven't filled it up yet. But right here, we got a couple things called Ogo Sports. We sold them at the store that I work at. That's where I got that thing and that thing from. There's a door over there that keeps on opening and closing. Alright, it's time to leave. It's time to leave. Jump out the window. <laughs> Who's there? It's, it's just the one. Why am I? Hold on. What am I being scared about? As you guys can also see, I got a new lightsaber. It, this is, well, technically it's Luke's lightsaber, you know, that's what the packaging says, but to me, it's, it'll, it'll always be Anakin's lightsaber. It's really cool. It's part of the Black series. So, if you wave it around, like listen, it's really cool, it's really awesome, and then you turn it off by clicking that button right there. So the way I display this is I look for this little hook right here, so all I do is put it on the hook, and then we're good to go. Look at that. Now the reason why I don't have my entire collection here is basically because I think it looks nice with not too much cramped in the shelf right here because it looks really nice. I mean, I think it looks very nice. Oh, I forgot, R2 is right here. As you can see, R2 is just holding a little Build-A-Bear Darth Vader lightsaber <laughs> that I got. But back to this, yeah, I don't really have my entire collection. For the most part is, I, I want to get into collecting more pop figures rather than collecting Godzilla figures. As I've stated in the past, I love Godzilla and I love collecting all the figures and stuff, but I kind of just want to branch out of Godzilla. Like, you know, there's a lot more stuff that I like, like, you know, Star Wars, Halo, uh, Sandlot, and just, you know, just a bunch of cool stuff that I like besides Godzilla. So I kind of just want to branch out and collect other stuff. So yeah, that is essentially my whole apartment. I favor my side of the room over <laughs> everything else in my apartment. But yeah, it's really cool. It's a really spacious apartment that I have right here. Like, look at all the space and then, I go back over here, you're like, there's so much space, and the harbor flow is really nice <laughs> through the camera. And it's just, this is a really nice apartment. Like, I'm, I'm really digging this place. I'm feeling really lazy right now, and I didn't want to set up my actual microphone rig, so I'm holding it right here. But anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, apartment tour and stuff like that and kind of the show of my collection and how I display all my stuff and whatnot. But I also wanted to say something. I am really late on this. I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope you guys have an amazing 2017 because, you know, for me, 2016 was not the best year in the world. So I'm really looking forward for 2017. I'm really hopeful that 2017 is going to be a good year. Now, a couple things that I guess is on my New Year's resolution thingy majigs. I want or basically I need to upload more onto this channel. I was looking at my demographics and then I saw that in 2015, I uploaded like 48 videos and I was like, what the heck? I've actually uploaded a lot of videos. And then I look in 2016, I uploaded like 12 videos, something like that. It's, I know it's really bad. So basically what I'm saying is I'm gonna try to do weekly uploads. So hopefully from now on, you will see a weekly video from me. Now, if you don't get a weekly video from me, then hopefully we'll start in February with weekly video content and stuff like that. I also wanna get into more vlogging, you know, there's a lot of great things that are going on in San Francisco and just a lot of stories to tell. So I would like to maybe take you guys on the journey with me. But honestly, I hope you guys have an amazing 2017. I hope this is a year where there's a lot of learning experiences a lot of growth and a lot of joys and laughter and just amazing stuff to come. So that's it for this video. I will basically see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I'll upload a video next week. I am kind of working on something else with that green screen thingamajig right there. So hopefully that will become a reality. So I hope you guys had an awesome New Year's and I hope you guys will have an amazing 2017 and I will see you guys later. Bye bye in the next video. Hopefully next week. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Bye bye guys.